guys. I told them my name and they just said my name. <laughs> this is not Sally. This is not Sally. One little girl isn't playing nice. The Sally house in Atchison. Sally's spirit is still here. The most compelling haunting case our investigative team has ever encountered. Oh! Oh my f God. Sally house considered the most haunted house in America. Can you say my name through the device? Ryan. Oh! Oh! Crash marks across oh his back, and it God. really looked like an attack. Before we do jump into this episode, some of you may or may not know that this video was actually filmed about a year ago. Now for the past year, Omar Gosh has been working on this huge project involving a bunch of creators going completely alone in these very haunted locations. And now that he had finally finished the series, we can release the episode where I was completely alone in the Sally house. Also, there are a few things I would like to cover before we do jump into the episode. We had well exceeded the light goal for the Skinwalker episode at Lake Mead, and we need somebody's help. At the moment, we are looking for somebody who owns a boat and would like to drop us off at the island and then pick us up very early in the morning. So if you do know any information or you are one of those people with a boat and would love to take the three of us beautiful gentlemen to that island, please go to the email down in the description and shoot us a message. Also, as some of you may know, we have been sick for the past week and unfortunately we haven't been really able to do much and I really wanted to dip into my vlog videos and the same goes for the guys as well. Also, the Ghost House episodes are coming soon. We just feel like we can't catch a break when it comes to any free time. But on the plus side, I've been working on the museum, and so far I think it looks pretty cool. Nice. One last thing, we do have a couple of the Queen Mary patches left, so that link will be down in the description as well. Now, without further ado, I do feel like I am kind of beating around the bush because this was one of the scariest nights I have ever had in my life. I mean, come on, who wouldn't be scared if they're doing this alley house completely alone? So I do hope you all enjoy this episode, but first, it is time to learn some history. About a year ago, I did something that I never thought that I would ever do in my life, and that is going to one of the most haunted houses in America alone. Well, I did, and it was one of the craziest things I have ever done in my life. This is my experience alone in the Sally House. The Sally House. The Sally House. The Sally House. Considered the most haunted house in America. There's been tons of reports, mainly by men, who experience being scratched. If I didn't believe then, I was a lot closer to believing when I left that house. The Sally House was built by the Finney family in the mid-1800s, right in the center of Atchison, Kansas. Charles Finney practiced medicine in the house and used the bottom floor for surgery and examination while him and his family lived on the second floor. For years, there are two stories that locals talk about as to why this house is called the Sally House. The main story revolves around a woman coming to his door late one night with her six-year-old daughter because she was very sick. Now, he had brought them inside because he thought that that six-year-old had appendicitis. Thinking that she needed emergency surgery, he had given her anesthesia. But he decided to start the surgery before the anesthesia had kicked in, eventually killing her. For all the wrong reasons. You think this family is at threat, in danger? The scratches on the man's stomach, he was yanked out of his bed. Yes, I, I'm a little concerned about this. I've read some books and I made friends with my hand. I said I'm the second story involves Charles Finney having an affair with another woman. Well, apparently him and his mistress had a child and she had gotten sick. Yet, he didn't want his family or the locals to know about them. So he had let his child die and killed his mistress and buried both of them in the basement. Hunting started in the early 90s when the Pickman family moved in. The man of the house, Tony Pickman, would be viciously attacked by the entity inside the house every single day. One specific night, he saw the spirit of a little girl standing right in front of him. And he even drew a picture of this little girl in under 10 minutes. And that little girl is supposedly the spirit of Sal. <laughs> There is definitely something in this home, and it's something that shouldn't be taken lightly. I always get a headache when I'm in this house. The hauntings 
had started to get really bad for Tony Pickman, causing them to have to contact a professional paranormal research group. They had then spent years with the family to document what exactly has been going on. Throughout the time, there were multiple occasions when Tony would be physically scratched right in front of the researchers without moving a finger. Eventually, the Pickman family couldn't stand the hauntings anymore, so they decided to move out, leaving the house abandoned and giving birth to the infamous story of the Sally House. One little girl isn't playing nice. So we went up, lifted up his shirt, and there were two vicious scratch marks across his back, and it really looked like an attack. Other than the Pikmin family story, there are a few other hauntings that have taken place in this house. Rumor says that a previous tenant had practiced witchcraft and had left a permanent pentagram down on the basement floor. They say that she had summoned something very evil and had left a portal open for spirits to travel back and forth through. Now that pentagram has since been burnt away, but the mark that's left is still visible to this day. Another resident is said to have fallen down the basement stairs to her death, and they say that her spirit is still inside of this house also. Last but not least, there is known to be a more malevolent spirit in this house, yet nobody knows who exactly it is. And still, decades later, it seems like these hauntings will never end. From the outside, it just looks like a plain white home. The nursery in Sally House is of particular interest to those fascinated by the paranormal, as Sally's spirit is still here. So my goal was to survive that whole night completely alone inside that terrifying house. So before we do jump into this episode, if you are not subscribed to this channel and you keep finding yourselves coming back, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. We are very close to 700k. Thank you everybody for all the love and support. We really appreciate each and every one of you. One last thing, before the guys can say anything, if we get 50,000 likes, we're going to send both of them on their own journeys to the Sally house completely alone. Yeah, that's gonna happen. And remember, this was about a year ago, so I've been on a very crazy weight loss journey. <laughs> it's awkward talking about a weight loss fucking journey. I mean, I've been working on myself, so thank you. I hope you guys enjoy my alone episode. Okay, I am here in front of the Sally house. The whole crew is leaving, and they're gonna leave me inside all alone. Love, dude. They're gonna go watch surveillance cams while I set on my journey. Here we go. This is uh, me alone in the Sally house. I'm not ready for this. Okay, hi. It's just me in here. And I wanted to go ahead and introduce myself before I explain why I am here. Now my name is Ryan, to whomever can hear me. I am here so that I can speak with somebody who still resides in this home. So Sally, or the little boy, or even the woman who had fallen down the stairs into the basement, if you can hear me, I brought these devices, these objects that you can use to show me that you're here, and also use your words. The first device I'd like to use is this object I call a REM pod. And if you come up to this metal antenna, this metal rod, it'll start to buzz and light up. Now I'm gonna be bringing it all around this home with me and I'm gonna be placing it in different areas. So if at any point in time you'd like to show me that you're here, please make it light up, make it buzz. I just wanna know if you're here. I also have this device I'm gonna leave here. I'm gonna demonstrate it. So what I'd like you to do is just walk in front of it. None of these devices that I have are going to harm you in any way. All it does is makes music and it lights up. So if there is anybody here with me right now, can you maybe give me a sign? Make a knock? Let me know where you are, please. That might have been me. Sally, I just want to let you know I understand what happened to you. Your appendix. I want to tell you, my appendix blew too. I got surgery. I don't have it anymore. And I'm very sorry what happened to you. It's very unfortunate. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way upstairs. See if I can talk to Sally up there. I've got a couple different objects, different devices that I'm going to use up there. See what happens. So let's hope for the best. I'm going to also set this on a chair right here just in case of any spirits walk by, because then that'll give me a sign that somebody's over here. And then I'll just run back downstairs 
and see if I can talk to them. Somebody just walked straight up to me. I'm gonna make my way upstairs, Sally. Oh! Hi. I told you somebody walked up to me. Do you mind if we go upstairs and talk? Come with me. I want to talk upstairs. If there is anybody up here, Sally, or if somebody's following behind me, I'm looking for you. I would love to talk to you. Is there anybody here? Did you guys hear that? And now the adrenaline starts to kick in. I've got this object here, this ball. It's just a cat toy. I'm gonna go ahead and set it here on the bed. If you can, give it a tap. It'll start to light up and that's how I'll know that you are up here with me. So use your energy, don't be afraid. I also have this device, this object. If you go up to it, it'll start to buzz. Same with this one. All these devices you can use to gather energy and show me that you are here. Whatever it's gonna take, please, don't be afraid. I'm gonna set another camera. Hi. <laughs> yes. Wow, hi. Thank you. Can you let go? You guys saw that. If you just did that, maybe you could do it again. I'm gonna set another cat ball on the bed. This makes it a trigger object. If you can, just tap them and they'll light up. Use your energy. Don't be afraid. I'm here. I just want to talk. I've got this device, and I've heard stories. Apparently, Sally, you like to play with phones. So this one, you can use your words, and it's a phone. Okay, before I do use this device, I like to put it in airplane mode so that nothing can interfere. Sally, I'm going to go ahead and set that device on the bed. Sally, the child, or the woman, if there is somebody here, can you please speak into that device? Say whatever you'd like to say. Use your energy. Don't be afraid. Also, if you'd like, you can make a noise anywhere. Oh! Cat ball! Oh my god! Hi! Can you maybe light up the other one? The one to the left of the candy? Please. My name is Ryan again. I just want to let you know my name. Maybe you can let me know your name. That device on the railing by the stairs, can you make that buzz again? Had enough. Had enough? What do you mean, had enough? I heard that you like to knock balls down the stairs. If somebody sets it on top of the stairs, maybe I can set it down here and we can give it a try. If you use all your energy, everything you have, Knock this ball down the stairs. If you can make this cat ball, the cat toy, if you can make that light up, that means you're moving it. So you should be able to move this ball. Don't be afraid. I just heard movement right there. Oh, I have so much anxiety. Sally, are you in here? Can you give me a sign, please? I hear you! The device just said I hear you. Can you show me then? Can you make something light up? Please. One of these balls. Or knock this ball down. Take your time. I'm not trying to rush you. I don't want to force you to do anything either. I just want to know if you're here. There you are! Hi. Don't be afraid of me. Please, just talk to me. 
Thank you. Did you guys see that? Sound. I just heard a sound, yeah. I just heard something loud. Holy f Show yourself. Thank you. Is there any way you can... Again. Is there any way you can say my name at any point in time tonight? Thank you. Look at that. Thank you. Hit. Hit! That's exactly what you have to do. Thank you. Wow. Can you try the other one, please? This thing is just going crazy. Can you maybe try that one? I don't know if you can. Try the other one, please. I just want to know if you understand what I'm saying. At this point, I'm kind of just sitting all over the place just to get a feel of where I need to go. A little bit later, I'm going to be making my way down to the basement where I'm very terrified to go. This is stressful. Very stressful. And the balls have not been lighting up. If you can hear me, can you make one of those balls light up again? Is this where you like to play? The fact that they are not touching those again makes it feel very legit. Give me a sign, please. The only reason why I keep asking you to touch these devices that I have, to set them off, that'll give me reassurance that you are here with me. It lets me know where you are, because I want to talk to you. I, I'd love to talk to you. I'm gonna leave this room alone, and I have the- Boy! Boy! There's a little boy here! Is this the little boy? Whoa. That was a loud knock. That sounded like it came from the master bedroom. I'm gonna make my way to the master bedroom. I heard that somebody can create what we call a force field. Something that's very, very strong that will push people away if they enter into the door. If there's anybody in here, I want to talk to you. Sally, are you here? That's it again. Is somebody approaching me? Give me a sign, please. Over there. Over there! The device just said over there. Over where? You gotta show me. Are you in the room over there? Oh my f god! I hope we just caught that on the audio. Somebody was just coming around the corner? Hello? Is that? I am so confused. It sounds like somebody's legit in here with me. Scary. Scary. Don't be afraid if you are saying I'm scary. I'm not here to harm you. I just want to talk. Would it be okay if I use another device that would help you use your words a bit easier? I can ask you a couple of questions if you're okay with answering them. Give me a sign that that's what you want, please. Unlikely. Unlikely. I'm gonna pull out this device that'll let you communicate and speak easier. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Okay, this device here in my hand, what I'd like you to do is come up to me, stand next to me, and just speak into this as loud and clear as possible. Please. I believe you're here. I know you want to talk. Okay, I'm gonna do an EVP session. See how it goes. Sally, are you here with me right now? Is there a boy up here with me? Is there somebody evil here in this home? How many people are here? Okay, here we go.
Here we go. Let's listen to this. Sally, are you here with me right now? Is there a boy up here with me? That was a voice. Hey, there's somebody Whoa. here in this home. How many people are here? Whoa, listen to that. Sally, are you here with me right now? What did that just say? I'm gonna do one more. Please continue to speak. Use your energy. Sally, what is it that you want? Are you trapped here? Who's walking around right now? Are you afraid of me? What? Are you trapped here? Who's walking around right now? Are you afraid of me? Oh! I am afraid! Yeah! Oh my god, listen to that. Sally, what is it that you want? Are you trapped here? Who's walking around right now? Are you afraid of me? <gasps> that is a little kid saying, I am afraid. Yeah. Whoa. That was crazy. Don't be afraid of me, Sally. I'm not here to harm you. I just want to have a talk if that's okay. Can I try something? Maybe you'll be able to trust me after this. I have a flashlight that I'd like you to turn on. It's kind of fun. It's pretty simple, and I really think that you can do it. What I'm gonna do is set a flashlight there on the makeup table, if you see what I'm pointing at. I'm gonna lay on this bed, just relax and hang out with you, if that's okay. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and start this session. Okay, I set that flashlight down, just like I said. I'm gonna go ahead and sit on this bed. I'm also gonna let you talk to me. If you can give me a sign. Show me you're here, please. I just wanna know if you understand what I'm saying. Turn on that light. Use all the energy that you can. Manifest it all, please. Are you here with me? Little. Little. Are you saying it's a little flashlight? Or are you saying you're little? There was a noise in that closet. Please walk over to that flashlight and turn it on. Thank you! Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Can you turn it off, please? Do the same thing, but the opposite. Just tap it, please. Concerned. Concerned about what? It didn't hurt you when you turned it on, did it? Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't be concerned. I'm gonna ask you a question then I want you to turn it on if it's a yes. Is this Sally? Am I talking to Sally? Thank you. Oh my God. Hi, Sally. Nice to meet you. I'm very thankful that you're here and that you can understand what I'm saying. Can you turn that off so I can ask another question, please? Likely. 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 Okay, Sally. Turn it off, please. Thank you. <laughs> that was instant. Are you stuck here? Can you turn it on if that's a yes? If not, leave it off. Are you able to go anywhere you want? Is there a portal here that allows you to do that? Because I've heard stories that you can. Okay. Oh, you can. Hi, okay. What if I made my way down to the basement? Is it dangerous down there? Off. Turn it on real quick, nice and fast, let me know. Should I be worried about the basement? Whoa! So that's a yes. Thank you. What should I be scared of? Is there something evil down there? 
Can you turn it off, please? Thank you. Can you maybe tell me in this device, the one that you're using your words, can you tell me what I should be afraid of? With one word or a whole sentence, please just let me know. Ah! Guys, there's a f full blown bird in here. How did you get in here? No, it's a bat! There's a bat in here. What do I do? Looks like it's got rabies. <laughs> it's got rabies. I don't want him clinging onto me. Get out of here. Oh! Sally, I'm gonna make my way downstairs. I just want to say thank you to whoever had spoken to me. Okay, that was a bit freaky. That just came out of nowhere. Where was that thing staying this whole time? How did he even get in here? Oh, I understand for those other paranormal. It just said cool. Guys, a child, I think Sally or the boy just saw the bat and they said cool. A kid would say that. They'd be like, cool, a bat. I'm gonna make my way downstairs if that's okay. If you want to, please follow me. I want to continue to talk to you. So far you've given such great evidence. You've said my name. You've done everything for me. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna make my way downstairs. That was f scary. Okay, this is what I've been dreading this whole time. But it's time, I have to do it. I'm gonna make my way down to the basement. There's said to be some evil down there. You see that? I'm gonna set this at the front of the door, this one that was just going off. Just to let me know if anybody is coming in, coming down, going up, whatever. So here we go. The basement. And I'm gonna take the teddy bear just in case. I'm gonna be making my way down into the basement. If anybody hears me, maybe you can come with me. Here we go. I was told that there's evil down here. There's something that got summoned down here. Please give me a sign. Let me know that you are down here with me. This object right here, this device, I'm gonna turn on. It triggers your motion. So if you move any part of your body in front of it, it'll start to buzz and light up just like that. Just like that. Do you see this? Whoa! That means somebody put their hand around the whole antenna. Hi, can you come and speak to me? Let go of it, please. What is going on? If you're down here, I have these devices. Sally, the boy, the woman who fell down the stairs, any of you, just show me that you're here. Somebody was just holding on to that. You can do it again if you want. Okay, one of the things I really wanted to do was turn this light red. Since I do have other red lights in here, I might as well continue the theme. Here we go. Time to go red light. If somebody wants to give me a sign, I'm down here. I'm all yours. You've got a couple of minutes. I want to know some information about this. Somebody had gotten summoned here. Whether it's something evil or not. Maybe you can give me a sign. Let me know what's going on. I want you to speak into this, please. Tell me who you are. Tell me what you are. Use your words. Sally, are you down here? Is somebody else down here? Growl. Growl? Is somebody growling at me? Something growling at me? Yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. Sally! I asked for Sally! I said, is Sally down here? There's movement. Come out! 
I hear you. Somebody down under here? Make yourself known, please. Do you hear that? I'm scared. I hear you. Do not harm me. I'm only here to talk. Inside. Inside? You're in here, huh? Can you talk to me? I've got this device here. Maybe you can say a couple of words. I'm gonna go ahead and try an EVP. Talk to me, please. You said you're in here. Why are you down here? I trust you. I trust you. That could be Sally. Is this Sally down here with me? Sally, is there evil down here? Am I in danger? Name. Name? My name is Ryan. Can you say my name through the device? That one on the ground? Please? Okay. Let's go ahead and listen to this. Ryan. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, guys! Did you hear that? Did you guys just hear that? I just asked them to say my name, please. They asked for my name. I told them my name and they just said my name. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is scary as Sally. Is this Sally? It, it can't be Sally. You just asked for my name. Sally knows my name. Approach. Okay. If you're gonna approach, walk in front of that object, please. Guys, I don't know if you can see that, it says my name. Okay, I still need to listen to this EVP. I am so f scared right now. Oh my god. What just happened? Okay, I'm gonna try and listen to this. Hopefully nothing kills me. Okay, I'm gonna play this. Talk to me, please. You said you're in here. Why are you down here? No! Way! This is not Sally. This is not Sally. We were just listening to the EVP and I said, is this Sally down here? It was just playing in this. And they said, no, it's not. Then who is this? Who am I speaking to? Did you get summoned down here? Are you that spirit? Or is this the woman? Thank you for saying my name, by the way. I asked you if you could say my name, and you did. I'm gonna turn this off, it's a little bright. There's still red, it drops a little bit of the light. I cannot believe this place is so haunted. This place is so up. Wow, I just, I can't believe it. I just heard a really loud knock. I want to try and listen to this. Talk to me, please. You said you're in here. Why are you down here? I trust you. I trust you. That could be Sally. Hey, this is Sally down here with me. Sally, is there people down here? Am I in Whoa! Guys, it said something when I asked if there was evil down here. I think it said, yes! Oh my god. That is crazy. I'm gonna do another one. Speak loud and clear into this device. Use your energy. Everything you have. There's evil down here. Who is it? Why are you here? Were you summoned because of the pentagram? Dark. Dark. Okay, let's listen to this. There's evil down here. Who is it? There's evil. 
people are down here. Who is it? Why are you here? Were you stunned because of the pentagram? Okay, that one was a bit difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this device off on the ground. And I'm gonna try one more time. I want you to focus just on this device, please. I'm gonna ask a couple of questions. Please answer them as best as you can. Don't lie to me. Here we go. Is there evil down here in the basement with me right now? What are you? How did you get here? Somebody's walking upstairs. Who is that? Somebody's up stairs right now. I hear somebody pacing. Let's play it. I'm gonna keep an eye on what the f is happening right now. Is there people down here in the basement with me right now? What are yes. you? It just said demon. Who is that? Somebody's up stairs right now. It just said demon. Oh my god. I knew it. You have no permission to harm me whatsoever. I'm gonna lay down some rules. You can't hurt me. You can talk to me. You can't follow me home. Don't harm Sally either. Sally doesn't deserve any of this. This is insane. I did not expect to get such great evidence alone. I really did not. It's like part of me is like scared. I'm freezing up right now. I have adrenaline. My heart is pumping. But half of me is also like, wow, this is real. It is so real. And I'm in the Sally house alone. Nobody would have done this ever. I might have to get out of here before I get hurt. You were summoned here by this pentagram that was here, huh? Was that your little portal? I don't think I've ever gotten such good evidence by myself. There's been times that I've gone by myself in a couple of locations, but most of them were hotels, and I usually don't get too much stuff. But this time, since I took on this psychopathic bullshit that my mind made me do it, this evidence is some of the best that I've captured. We've caught some great stuff, but this is this is definitely the top five locations that we've ever, ever been to. Top one for me scariest place I've been because I'm alone. Am I going to be okay leaving here? Please give me a sign. Let me know if I can get out of here okay. Sally, I'm calling for you. I need your help, Sally. I need you. Guys, this is f***ed up. Whoever is down here, thank you for giving me the, the time. Thank you for talking to me. If this is something evil, you can't harm me. You can't touch me. I'm gonna be leaving now. F*** you. F*** you. Guys, somebody is crawling in there. And it sounds big. F***ing one more time, I guess. What more do I need, huh? I've already had it all. Who's in here? A man here. A man here? Yep, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Did you just f***ing hear me? Said who's in here? A man here. I'm done. I can't. Holy shit. Okay. Last thing I wanted to do was do a little bit completely in the dark. I'm gonna take a session in the living room. I don't know where I feel safe here. This house just does not feel right. I know somebody is innocent. It's gotta be Sally. She's gotta be innocent. I know there's a demon here. So those of you who think that Sally is the demon, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's it. I think it's something that got conjured here. I'm gonna do a session in the living room in complete darkness, and then after that I'm done. I've caught in all the proof I needed. So I'm gonna make my way to the living room. Time to go all lights out. Okay, 
So the guys came back in, set me up completely, night vision. I uh, finally, people have said in the comments that they want me to have a night vision camera on my back. So whatever happens behind me, you guys will see. If you can hear me, I'm giving you 20 more minutes. I wanna say thank you to everyone, whoever has given me evidence. Hi, what the f Dude, it will not focus. Somebody was just walking in front of the music box. Wow, thank you. Maybe you could do it again, please. I'm gonna sit here for a minute. Thank you. Do you f see this, guys? No way. Wow. I am so f happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sally, the boy, the woman. That was just hissing. Holy sh! Oh my god. This is so crazy. I'm giving you this time. The last couple of minutes. So you could kind of just hang out with me. There's so many people that come here who are so disrespectful to you and I don't understand. It's not okay. It's not fair. This is your home. Thank you for giving me that opportunity. Thank you for giving me the chance. You have been nothing but good to me. Guys, I'm starting to really f feel weird. I'm starting to get so scared inside. My body is trembling. I'm shaking. Guys, I don't know if I could do this. I'm like f terrified. What do I do? I'm gonna go upstairs. I wanna thank you. I just wanna make one more round, just in case if, if anybody's upstairs and maybe wants to see me one last time. I'm never doing this ever again. You hear me? If you're up here, I wanna say thank you. One last time. Whoever's here, thank you. Maybe I can use a couple of more words here if you'd like. If you wanna say something, please just talk to me. I'm here for you. Maybe a couple of last words, please. Lamang. Lamang. Yeah? You're here, I know. I know you're here. I'm here too. I'm sorry. I apologize. Sorry for my language. I get very scared. <gasps> there was just really prominent footsteps. So you guys hear me yelling. I'm talking to them because they're watching me in these cams. They're in the van. So they're watching everything that happens to me. Everything that's going on. And I'm back here with the dolls. While they're in a nice comfy van. And I'm in here being scared as you guys. I'm here to give you some time. Time to continue to speak with me. Whatever you want to get out. Any last words? Anything. Sally, do you need help out of here? Maybe I can try to help you. If you need help. Left. Left. What does that mean? You want me to go in there? Can you make a noise? Once that turns off, if you turn it on, I'll go that way. Turn one of them on, please. Just tap it. Kid. Kid? <laughs> it just said kid. The voice just said kid. Oh! Oh my god! Thank you! Thank you so much! 
Wow! You are so strong! That is incredible! Sally, it's you! I know it's you! Yes! Yes! Thank you. I just want to say one more time, thank you for everything. Play! Play! <laughs> no way! Play! Oh, Sally. Um... How do we play? What do you want to play with? Yeah, I mean, you're playing with that ball. I just, I just rolled it to you. Is that okay? Do you feel like we played the whole time I was here? I think we did. I had a good time. A demon here. <gasps> okay, okay. Am I getting f tricked? You can't harm me. Why haven't you touched that ball? There you go. Thank you. Guys, I'm uh, really f scared. Somebody wants to play. They say they're a kid and then they said a demon here. I think I might be getting tricked. I'm going to be making my way back downstairs. At some point, I feel like I really... When? It just said when? Right when I said that. I was thinking about doing it right now. Is that okay? I'm tired. I need to go to bed. I need to sleep, just like you. If there is somebody here that's not tricking me, if you want to make your way out of here, as soon as I leave the front door, I want you to picture a bright white light. Something that you can leave. Portal. A portal! Just like a portal, exactly! That just said portal. Picture something like that that you can leave, but go somewhere where you're happy so that you're not stuck here. Once I open that door, you're free. You can leave. But you can't follow me. You have no permission to follow me home. This was amazing. Wow. I'm gonna make my way back out. I think this investigation was the best that could have happened. There's also footsteps. Constant footsteps. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. <sighs> Time to go. Okay.